American dream, the American dream is not a sprint or even a marathon, but a relay. Our families don't always cross the finish line in the span of one generation, but each generation passes on to the next the fruits of their labor. My grandmother never owned a house. She cleaned other people's houses so she could afford to rent her own. But she saw her daughter become the first in her family to graduate from college. And my mother fought hard for civil rights so that instead of a mop, I could hold this microphone. And while she may, while she may be proud of me tonight, I got to tell you, Mom, I'm even more proud of you. Thank you. Today, Today, my beautiful wife, Erica, and I are the proud parents of a three-year-old little girl, Karina Victoria, named after my grandmother. A, a couple of Mondays ago, a couple of Mondays ago was her first day of pre-K. And as we dropped her off, we walked out of the classroom, and I found myself whispering to her, as was once whispered to me, Que Dios te bendiga. May God bless you. She's still young and her dreams are far off yet, but I hope she'll reach him. As a dad, I'm going to do my part, and I know she'll do hers. But our responsibility as a nation is to come together and do our part as one community one United States of America to ensure opportunity for all of our children. The days we live in are not easy ones, but we have seen days like this before, and America prevailed. With the wisdom of our founders and the values of our families, America prevailed. With each generation going further than the last, America prevailed. And with the opportunity we build today for a shared prosperity tomorrow, America will prevail. It begins with re-electing Barack Obama. It begins with you. It begins now. Que Dios los bendiga. May God bless you, and may God bless.